Opera House behind me, and I just want to say hello. This is my very first episode of the podcast for Everything Everywhere. Uh, to people who may have discovered the podcast through iTunes, um, my name is Gary Arndt. I've been traveling around the world now for a year. I've been to 35 different countries and territories, and uh, you can go to my website at everything-everywhere.com. And to all of those that have been following my website for quite some time, here I am. This is me. You can finally see me, hear my voice. Uh, and what I want to do in the podcast is something you're not going to see on the Discovery Channel or the Travel Channel and the stuff that Samantha Brown isn't going to show you. I'm not here to show you or tell you about what the Opera House is like because you've seen the Opera House in almost every photo of Australia or Sydney. When they had the Olympics here, every news organization would set up to have some sort of shot of the Opera House in the background. In fact, since I've been in Sydney, I've seen at least two different news crews set up to do some sort of you know shot, interview someone in front of the Opera House. What I wanted to show you was something that I've always wondered before I started traveling. When you saw something like the Taj Mahal or the Eiffel Tower, the thing I always wondered was, what does it look like across the street? I mean, you can see what the building looks like in pictures, but what they never showed you is, well, what does it look like you now at a slightly different angle? What's the, you know, the rivets and, and the, you know, where's the men's room and where did they dump the trash? That was the stuff that always interested me. And so with the Opera House, this is a really great example because this is the iconic, you know, architectural statement of Sydney and probably all of Australia. And it's a beautiful building. It was built about, I don't know, 35 years ago, early 1970s, and it kind of defines the city and the country. But at the same time, when you get really close, the building looks totally different. So what I did is I took my camera, went up close to the Opera House, and you can actually see what it looks like up close. The one thing you notice about the Opera House is that it is definitely screams of 1970s architecture. You don't notice it from far away, but up close you can really tell. It's primarily concrete and tile. And in fact, the tile uh, is something I never even knew it, existed, what it was made out of. It always assumed it was made out of metal or something based on you know the, the smooth, white that you saw on the surface. But yeah, it's tile. And not only is it tile, but some of the tile is kind of an off whitish yellow that looks like, you know, someone's teeth who's been smoking for 20 years. And you could you could probably dump the opera house on most major US college campuses that had that 70s, you know, when they went through the boom of the buildings in the 1970s, and it would probably serve as the chapel. It looks just like that. Really, really kind of neat looking from far away, but really that impressive up close. And that's kind of the opera house. Uh, this is just kind of the first start for the podcast. I have about 10 different episodes lined up already from footage I've taken across the Pacific and Asia on uh, this part of my trip so far. So I'll be showing you that. And I hope to be doing this on a regular basis at least once a week from now on. So if you did discover this on iTunes, then you're going to probably want to visit my website at everything-everywhere.com where I post a new travel photo every day and you can read all my writings from the past year. And if you're getting this from the website, then definitely go to iTunes and subscribe and that way you can get it right in your iTunes reader and that way I get credit for it on iTunes and I can jump up the charts. Uh, so until next time, see you.